Okay guys, welcome back to Sanity Maintenance. Uh, today we're going to talk about RTV uh, silicone, like you normally buy for your automotive stuff, things like that. Uh, they make it in two different types, RTV1 and RTV2. RTV1 is what you're commonly going to be using uh, if you go to a store and pick stuff up for your car, or your vehicle, boat, whatever, engine, stuff like that. Uh, that's where you'll find your RTV1. That's your most common one. RTV2 is going to be like something you'd find in an industrial area. Uh, RTV being one, it comes in one tube. RTV two being it's two components. So it takes the two of the components together to mix together in order for it to become one. And it's more of that's more of a uh, rubbery substance, like a latex type of feel to it. It's not latex, but it's almost like a latex rubbery feel to it. So that's that's what you get from the RTV two. <clears throat> uh, RTV one is normally cures by the moisture which is in the atmosphere getting into uh, like humidity uh, if you ever do any work on your boat or your car during the summertime you notice how stuff just really dries I mean really quick it'll dry really quick because there's more humidity in the air uh, versus if you're doing it in December or January when it's really cold you know, it takes a really long time for because it's dry it's less humidity in the air it takes longer for it to cure so that's kind of what we're going to discuss later a little bit so let's get into that Okay guys, <clears throat> excuse me, get into RTV, we'll get into RTV colors, you know, what are they for? Uh, that's a commonly thing you hear on like a YouTube, uh, you'll see somebody take something apart, but they used the wrong color. You, what the hell are they talking about? Well each, each color is, stands for certain things, there's normally about five colors, there's clear, blue, black, and red. Is that four? Hell if I know. Anyways, uh, We'll start at the bottom with what the color is. Clear is generally going to be your uh, your lightest duty type thing. It has a little bit of a heat uh, protection to it, where it's not going to get you know, totally screwed up. A little bit, not much, you know. And uh, but it's mainly used for like putting two things together, like plastic or a glass or something, you know, this clear things of that nature. So it's it's kind of like a, a snowflakes and rainbows. There's real light, you know. So uh, getting into your next color would be blue. Uh, this blue RTV is going to be something like, uh, I guess, a little bit more heat, uh, where you're not going to be uh, worried about the color being interfering with whatever you're working on, uh, but it's not going to be in an area where it's an extreme amount of heat. You know, it's like two pieces going together that are going to be kind of warm, you know, but not quite, you know, scalding hot type of area. And, and it's not very oil resistant either neither is the uh the clear either but you can get into some blues where they are a little more oil resistant and you'll get into products where they're ultra where they're a little higher temperature and they're also a little more oil resistant you normally say that in the black but blue is more kind of a light duty application too as well it's a little tougher than rainbows and and uh snowflakes you know in that area so it's starting to get a little bit of a brute you know, to it now you know, ass kicking stuff going on. So uh, then you're going to get into your your black. Your black's going to be your next color. Black is where you start to get into oil pans, uh, uh, oil pumps, uh, things of that nature. Where you start to get around heat. Oh yeah, starting to get around heat and things like that, and causing more oil to seep out and things. And in the oil, it has to be resistant to the oil as well. All right, and after. Once you get into black, you start getting into the ultras more than you would in other colors. Uh, getting into your next color is going to be gray. That's the color I forgot to mention. Gray actually uh, does a pretty good job on oil resistance, and it does a uh, better job on heat as well. It just, as the silicones go up, or the RTVs go up, they get better in the heat area. So we're in gray. Gray is great for vibrations, like uh, a lot of shaking around stuff that sort of thing uh, the heat resistant as well getting better uh, that's something you'd use on like an intake uh, maybe even the water pump area stuff like that you know where it's gonna be a lot of tremendous vibration going on but it's made to stretch a little more uh, than the black wheel uh, to keep in mind all these do cure about the same as in 24 hours area they do kind of hard up and take shape within about 10 or 15 minutes mostly but they do take about 24 hours to cure 
All right, getting into our last one. Last one's going to be red. Red's mean. Red's kick ass. Red's going to do what it's got to do. So red is like something you use on your oxygen sensors or something like that on your exhaust, around your exhaust, because the heat, the heat on it is like really up there. It's like 7,800 degrees somewhere in that area, I think. But uh, and it's used in areas like that. So these are your different colors and what they're for. Uh, you do find some kind of odd colors every once in a while that a company will put out, uh, like an orange or a purple or, uh, you know, just stupid shit. And they kind of get off the side. A lot of times it just has to do with them mixing it wrong or they're trying something new. But these are going to be your basic colors there. So it's going to be white, blue, oh, excuse me, clear, blue, black, gray, red. Clear being your lightest one. Blue being next to the lightest one. Black started getting where it started to kick a little ass now. And then you get into your uh, gray. Gray is really good with oil resistance and all that stuff. It takes the vibration. Then you get into red. We're gonna we got all that, all that there into this red. So that's how it works. So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, hey guys, give it a thumbs up and y'all have a good Saturday afternoon. Later.